What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Jackson Desjardins. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer. I've personally lost 80 plus pounds, and I'm here to help you guys do the exact same thing. I wanna make it dangerously clear that I know the feeling of not liking who you see in the mirror. I've been the fat guy who has no confidence, who has no game. I know what it feels like to have a 1.6 GPA and just be at the very bottom of the barrel, and I have gotten out of it. I'm here on YouTube helping you guys figure out how to get out of it, but as many of you know, I believe that weight loss is 10% diet and exercise, and 90% mental. The problem is not the diet or the exercise. We know that we gotta eat less and we gotta move more. If your dog needed to lose weight, you would feed it less and walk it more. Why are you any different, okay? We, this, these are the questions that we have to be asking ourselves. And the reason I failed for four years, trying to lose weight and only being unsuccessful and actually putting on 80 pounds that entire time, the reason that I failed that whole time is because I didn't have all the information that I'm about to give you in this video. To lose the weight, keep it off, start liking yourself and absolutely max out your quality of life. All right guys, the first weight loss mindset shift that you need to make is don't fear failure. Okay, too many people don't get started in weight loss because they're just afraid that they're not gonna follow through. And then when you don't follow through in something, that's basically letting yourself down and then that's gonna be painful because you're gonna start to associate your identity with somebody who doesn't follow through with what they say they're gonna do. That's a scary thing, okay? I've been there, I did it for four years and built a horrible relationship with myself, so I had negative self-confidence. And as we know on the channel, the only way to gain real self-confidence is by keeping the promises that you make to yourself. So you've gotta leave the fear behind and say it is time to make a change. There's no person out there who has ever had a perfect weight loss plan who never veered from it and never did anything that they weren't supposed to do. Okay, there's no such thing as perfection in a weight loss plan or really anything in life. Perfection, my friends, is an illusion. I remember when I was 270 pounds, I just was terrified of taking that first step because I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to keep that promise that I, that I make to myself and I didn't wanna tell anybody that I was doing it because then I would really look like a failure if I didn't follow through, okay? So like just take that first step because the momentum you build from that, there's gonna be a snowball effect that is literally going to affect everything in your entire life. So after that first step, yes, it gets easier. Yes, it gets more enjoyable. Yes, you build more self-confidence. So just remember that by starting, just by starting, you're gonna build a snowball of confidence through this entire thing. And let me tell you something, when you keep that first promise to yourself and then you say, you know what, I'm not gonna eat this because I, I, I know that I gotta be in a calorie deficit and I have a weigh-in on Friday. When you do that for the first time and then you meet your weigh-in, you're unstoppable, okay? It's crazy. You're literally unstoppable after that because that's so reinforcing to us. It's all between our ears, guys. It's so reinforcing to you at that point that you just can't stop. You have to keep going because you wanna see what else you can do. You just raised the bar for yourself. You raised your standards by simply taking the first step. All right guys, weight loss mindset shift number two is going to be no all or nothing mindset. Okay, you cannot be all in or all out, or in other words, black or white thinking. There's so much room for gray area in any weight loss plan, which so many people struggle with this simple concept. And it goes from nutrition all the way to exercise, all the way to the mindset, okay? If you miss a workout, you don't say, screw it, I'll hop on next week. I missed a workout, it's not gonna be optimal. I didn't train legs, I'm, I'm, my physique is ruined. No, that is not the case. There's a ton of room for gray in the middle. It's not black or white. Nutrition, okay, you have a birthday party in the middle of the week that you were not planning to go to, but now you have to go make an appearance. So you go and there's pizza and there's cake and all these things, and then you have a little bit of it, and then you say, oh man, I screwed up. Now I'm just gonna hop back on it Monday. I'm such a failure. I have no discipline. I have no self-control. Look, okay, that is a perfect example of you could have just had a little bit and then been fine, okay? You might have had an extra 500 calories and then hopped back on the next day and you would have made tons of progress for the week. But instead, you and me, for years, guys, understand what I'm saying, for years, I would say, you know what, I'll hop back on Monday. It's Wednesday, I already screwed up. I'm probably not gonna meet my Friday weigh-in because I screwed up this one thing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna get back on Monday. But when Monday comes, I'm really, I'm, I'm gonna make it happen. And that right there is the most dangerous thing that happens to the most amount of people when they are trying to lose weight is they truly believe that they're gonna get back on Monday. And when you believe that for four years, like homeboy right here, 
okay? That's called insanity, doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result, okay? So please do yourself a favor and don't be like all in or all out. There's a lot of room for gray. Things are gonna come up, plan for things to come up. It's okay, don't expect everything to be perfect because the moment it's not, you're gonna lose your mind and I promise, I promise it won't be perfect. I promise, count on it. All right, guys, time for the true dream killer and at the same time, saving grace. And that is going to be stop labeling foods as good or bad. Okay, I've talked about this plenty of times on the channel before. So many people struggle with this because I got news for you. Okay, just stop, stop what you're doing and listen to me. You can eat whatever you want and lose weight. Did I just blow your mind? You don't believe me, do you? Okay, so here's how it works. We've talked about it a million times. You've got a calorie maintenance level called your total daily energy expenditure, okay? If you eat under that consistently, you're going to lose weight. It's just, it's science, like you can't argue it. Now, where those calories are coming from technically really doesn't matter. I did not track macros at all when I lost 80 pounds and I got a little bit more into it after I lost the weight. The only thing I track nowadays is protein. Calories in, calories out. If your dog was trying to lose weight, would you give him some uh, weight loss detox uh, drink? Probably not. Would you only take him on sprints instead of walks because high intense interval training burns more fat? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, would you at least have him take a fat burner just because, you know, it can increase his, his, his metabolic rate and get him to get the weight off a lot quicker? I mean, I know you'd at least do that, right? Probably no, I don't think so. And that's because it is as simple as calories in and calories out. If your dog needed to lose weight, what would you do? You would walk him more and feed him a little less. Okay, it, we are no different. Now this is me in high school at the midst of when I was putting on all of my weight, all the 80 pounds, like this is right in the middle of it, baby. So I make my food, it's Wednesday, I'm killing the game, I've worked out every day. It's picture perfect plan, let's get it. And then. Somebody brings in pizza to class on Wednesday and I have a slice of pizza and I go, well, screw it. So I already messed up and had pizza and pizza's bad and I can't lose weight if I eat pizza. So now since I'm not making any progress, I might as well have all the bad foods that I've been restricting myself for the past three days because you're really gonna make progress in three days, right? No, it takes weeks, okay, months. So that all could have been avoided if you would have just ate the pizza and then got right back on your game. You're thinking too hard about this. All right, weight loss mindset shift number four is going to be reflect. Really ask yourself, is this working? Okay, because if you think that it's going to work every single next Monday, I got news for you. I did it for four years and every time I was wrong. The reason I wasn't wrong the last time is because I chose to say, wow, um, I gotta trust the process that if I eat less than I'm burning, then I'm gonna lose weight. So I'm just gonna eat whatever I want and make sure that I'm eating enough of it so then I'm gonna be in a calorie deficit. I can handle that. Now at that point, guys, there's nothing to get back on when Monday comes. You're building habits, okay? So reflect and say, what have I been doing and is it working and is it serving me? Is it providing me the results that I want? Another thing to reflect on would be asking yourself, am I really hungry? When I pigged out and binged last night, why did I binge? If you're binge eating, ask yourself why you're binge eating, because it doesn't always have to do with, with restricting ourselves too much. It, it can have to do with some serious personal issues, whether it's stress from studying for an exam, whether it's a bad breakup, whether it's getting too comfortable in a relationship. I mean, there's so many things that go into this, but I need you to reflect. You're going to lose weight and you're gonna build habits if doing it the right way. The wrong way, you might lose weight, and after you lose the weight, you're just gonna put it right back on. I've been there, done that. I've literally been all over the place, guys. You've gotta trust me here, okay? Now guys, the last weight loss mindset shift that I want to talk to you about is going to be motivation versus discipline. People get this mixed up all the time. Everybody thinks that they need motivation to lose weight. They, oh, I gotta be motivated. You know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna look up a motivational video on YouTube and I'm gonna get going. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna be motivated, motivated, motivated. That Rocky Balboa grind is not realistic for any of us, okay? It doesn't last that long. Um, motivation, I compare to a sprint. Discipline, I compare to a marathon, all right? That's because discipline will beat motivation every time. Why is this? It's because motivation, you're gonna have a lot of inspiration and motivation in one specific moment, but I don't think you're gonna link that to anything specifically. When you build discipline and you find the reinforcement from your actions, whatever way that is. For example, I work out now not because I have discipline and I gotta get it done every day and I'm highly motivated. No, I do it now because I finally found reinforcement in it. 
I love going and getting a pump and I want to improve myself every day. Therefore, when I leave there and I feel accomplished every day, that's reinforcing enough to me. Remember, it's all between our ears. That's reinforcing enough to me to go back the next day and do it again. And I've gotten to the point where I'm not at the top of my game and I'm not even that happy when I don't go. That's part of how I'm able to be happy nowadays is when I'm in line with Super Jackson, like we've talked about in, in my videos, there's a super you within you, you just have to draw them out and find him. Those of you who are unfamiliar with my Super Jackson theory, if you see a stud, why is that guy or girl a stud or a studette, I suppose, I want you to write out every attribute about them and just be that person. Didn't mean to get off track there, but I'm saying motivation is absolute BS because it does not last. How you develop discipline is by finding the reinforcement behind it. Once you start delivering and following through on the promises that you make to yourself, you're going to build self-confidence. You're going to have the snowball effect. You're going to build discipline to say, I don't feel like doing it right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. That is discipline. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope that I've been able to teach you something through my struggle. The reason I'm on YouTube is to help you not have to go through the struggles that I did to be able to find success. I'll never lead you guys astray and I appreciate every single one of you. So if you are not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe down below. I'd love to have you a part of my YouTube family of highly motivated motivated, awesome individuals who want to change the world and improve themselves every step of the way. So as always, guys, let's keep getting better together and let's keep on grinding. I'll see you guys in the next one.